uh, sorry for unceremoniously flinging us to the, the game screen, but see what I was doing for like the 20 minutes I had before the stream, like between finishing cooking dinner and starting the stream, uh, I was going to do a little bit of a, kind of a puzzle roundup because they're like the only like arbitrary puzzle counter in this game is going to be in chapter five. And I'm, I think I'm shorter for that goal than I have been any other, in any of the other games I've streamed. And not, it's not really, I don't think it's really fun to watch like me try to like lightning round a bunch of puzzles. So I was going to do that off stream. Well then, like, I've done like 10 or 15, and then Citra just like up and quit on me. So uh, what I'm going to do is we're just going to press on uh, through the, the end of chapter 4 here and wait for everything to get flung to Keats, and then I will rapid fire do some puzzle solving. With, with cheating, obviously. The only reason I'm so uptight about a making sure everything flows well is because I have a I have an appointment like ass early in the morning tomorrow and my usual post stream schedule I don't go to sleep till like midnight or one and I wanted to try to like keep this one a little tighter <laughs> but anyway say love you let me unmute Citra again and then we'll get into this Hope everyone's doing well tonight. Sorry, I, I, I just spin right into that spiel. Yeah, and I, that's true. I may also just get close to 75. <sighs> okay. The joy of discovery one finds through archaeological pursuit is just as prominent, if not more so, in aviation. Uh, thanks, Desmond. Uh, okay, let's go to the Walled City. landed in Morrowind. This appears to be one of the locations marked on the walls of the Azran Dome. Great observation. I feel the power of the Azran resonating. There's surely an aura stone here. The walls of this city do resemble Azran architecture. There is a lot to indicate that we're in the right place. Well, shall we disembark? This is Morrowind. <laughs> With any luck, it won't be long until we have the egg in our possession. In a way, these streets remind me a little of London. They're much quieter, though. How sure are we that the egg is here again? In the city of Morsinia sleeps the eternal phoenix. Or so the legend goes. Where there's a bird, there's probably an egg. I wonder if this legend of the <laughs> legend of the phoenix, <laughs> this legend of the penis, might not be connected to the Azran Riders of the Sky. Not the most scientific theory, but given that the town is enclosed in Azran walls, I'd say it has some merit. Well, that's good to hear. But where do we start? There's no one around. Perhaps the city's residents are all indoors. Let's try the nearest house. Let's be an E to the nearest house that has a door swinging open in the wind. Hello? Hello? Anybody? I don't have anywhere else to go or investigate. Thing. Okay, well thank god for that. Oh, it's behind me. Excuse me, is anybody in there? Hello? Hmm. The 
there doesn't appear to be anyone home. All the streets are deserted. It's a little bit creepy. Granted, there's something not quite right here. Let's keep moving. statue looks a lot like a phoenix. Do you think it's part of the legend? You know, of the phoenix? I very much doubt it. In the eyes of the Azram, even the purest gold is of little worth. Oh yes, of course. There was a chapter about it in Rutledge's ancient histories, wasn't there? Scratch that theory, then. Hmm. Still not a soul around. Please. To... help me. <laughs> Think... our... get... our way? Hello? Did you hear that? It came from over there. Quickly. I thought old people were supposed to be nice! Why won't you help me? Ah, did you hear that? He called us old. Where we come from, that's a crime, you know. Zip it, Robin. Boy, let me make something very clear. I'm a perfectly eligible bachelor, and I don't like to be talked down to. I, I mean, why we won't help you is none of your business. Now get out of our way, brat. Macaw, I reckon that phoenix bird over there has the egg we're looking for. Let's not waste our time talking to this pipsqueak. <laughs> this is why I don't trust grown-ups. Wow, he asked those two for help? He must really be desperate. Indeed. Shall we offer our assistance? Ah, you came from outside the city, didn't you? Please, I really need your help. Everything's gone wrong and I've... S slow down. What is your name, young man? Ah, sorry. My name's Umid. Hello there, Umid. My name is Desmond Sycamore, and this is Professor Layton. That's his first name, Professor. Would you care to tell us what's wrong? Well, it's the adults. They're all... All... One morning, my mom wouldn't wake up. I shook her and shook her, but I couldn't get more than a few mumbles out of her. And the other grown-ups are exactly the same. They're all just lying there, sleeping, and have been for a whole week. A whole week? How bizarre. So every adult in the city is currently in a sort of coma? I know it's hard to believe, but please, come to my house. You can see for yourself. It's just over here. Come on. Maybe you grown-ups can think of a way to wake her up. Please help my mommy. Oh, damn, she really is asleep. The woman in bed would be your mother, I presume? Yeah. It seems like she's been like this for ages. What to do? Well, her pulse is steady, and her breathing seems normal. I don't believe she's in any immediate danger. I don't know what caused her to end up in this state. If I did, I wouldn't be asking you. She doesn't respond to a single thing I say. No one can do anything. I just... I can't handle this anymore. I'm only twelve, man! <laughs> a most curious phenomenon. The only thing I can think of is... Well, it's an old Mycenaean legend. The story goes that long ago, a mighty phoenix with healing powers swooped down on Mycenae and made it her home. 
She would slumber for months, even years at a time. But when she was awoken, tears of joy would stream from her eyes. Those tears were said to cure any illness. Boo, you didn't say penis. Am I gonna get penalized for not saying penis for once in my life? The people of the city collected the tears and used them to heal the sick. So, if I can find the phoenix and wake her up, maybe her tears will help the grown-ups wake up too. Okay, unanimous agreement on that. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll say penis, I guess. <sighs> hmm. Look, you might not believe it, but I don't have any other choice. Actually, it's often the case that legends have some vestige of truth to them. There may be a chance such a thing exists. It's the only hope I have left. I'll do whatever it takes. Please, if you promise to help me, I'll guide you through the city. I'll show you anything you want. Snooping as usual, I see. As around traditions remain strong in Mosinia, but the entire adult population of the town is fast asleep. It seems a phoenix's tears would rouse the locals from their slumber, but does such a mythical creature even exist? Why is it only the adults that are asleep, I wonder? That is a good question. Oh hey, there's another unattended child here. Hey, who are you? Why aren't you asleep like daddy? Are you sleepwalking? No, no, I'm quite sure we're awake. But the situation you poor children in seems like a bad dream to me. We're currently trying to find a way to wake up the adults of your city. Our friend Umid here believes the, the penis might be the key. Oh, the phoenix? Yeah, I saw that once. Wanna hear about it? Wait. Oh, his little animation is so cute! Wait, actually, can you help me with a puzzle first? I'm really stuck on it. He's doing caramel dancing. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me, there's no way that's the fucking title. Snake squeezing times ten. Squeezing a selection of slithering serpents into a small pot like this is no problem for an experienced snake charmer who is apparently Luke at me. Facts? Though so you might not think this pot here could hold more than the nine snakes that are already in it, with a bit of rearranging you can definitely fit in a tenth. There's no trickery involved and the snakes don't overlap each other. My god, I remember doing this one. I, re I remember doing this one. Squeezing, buddy, it's CQC. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Mint green one goes in the bottom. Yeah, these little dudes are so good. <laughs> these ones are kissing. Here's my answer. My answer. Critical thinking is the key to success. 
It made me wondering, like, hey, why haven't you been doing a British accent for Professor Layton since it's, like, I don't know, pretty easy for your average American to, you know, sort of imitate. I'm like, because I would not be able to live with myself if I talked like a British man and a British boy for three days a week for, like, months. I just, I could not handle that. Wow! You're clever! Okay, so, the phoenix, right? right? I don't want to make this little kid say penis. That's just, that's a, that's a line I'm drawing in the sand. The older kids can say it, sure. But not, but not this little boy. You see the big hill outside the city? It's called Phoenix's Rest. We always get told off if we play anywhere near it. But once, right, I saw this humongous bird perched on the hill, and it looked me right in the eye. A large bird at Phoenix's rest. At Penis's rest. Sounds like a lead to me. Say Penis for the kiddo. Okay. Good compromise. <sighs> if the grown ups were around, They'd yell at us and tell us not to go anywhere near that place. I know it's probably to keep us safe, but this is different. If the phoenix really lives on that hill, then we have to go. It just looks so creepy. And I sort of wish there were some grown-ups yelling at us not to go right now. But the only grown-ups we have with us are encouraging us to go up there. They can tell me off all they like when they wake up. I'll just be happy that they're back to normal. First, I need some hooked coins. Pingus is a Spanish swear for penises. Wow! They did not teach me that in my eight years of Spanish class at all. I feel severely let down by the American education system, and not for the first time. like fun. Look! Is that it? Is that the phoenix? Bird noises, bird noises. I know, because if I start trying to squawk, I'm gonna accidentally make myself cough a whole bunch. Oh, sorry! We didn't mean to disturb you. We came here hoping to see the Pingus. Is that you? Wah! But you've been here a long time, haven't you? Swar? Ah, so you're waiting for her. And you say she sparkles? That sounds mystical enough. I bet she's the one we're looking for, then. Do you know when she might be back? We'd really like to meet her, too. Well, I don't think we'll be able to wait that long. But how do you know she's nearby? Whoa, you must have a keen sense of smell. You think she's inside there? That doesn't sound very likely. I think that's... a sluice gate. Oh, you know, it's like a door for water in... Never mind, it's not important. Luke was good about to talk about sewers. It was nice to meet you, Adler. How does it look, Luke? Well, Adler here isn't Phoenix, but there's a much bigger bird around here, and it sparkles all over. Did Luke even go to private, like, British Village private school? Because it seemed like... They just kind of let the kids do whatever back there. An even bigger bird? But how do we go about looking for it? He said he spotted her once when he was looking towards the city. Maybe we'll find more clues back there? Oh well, cool, this whole rock is covered in bird shit. That's awesome. Great world building, Professor Layton.
these are almost identical to Azran ruins. There's no doubt about it. Mosidia and the Azran are connected. Could it be that the Phoenix is hidden within? I very much doubt that. Um, aren't you over overthinking things a bit? This is just an old cistern. talk to animals, Neil, that wouldn't happen. Oh, shit. Hello, Nimrods. <laughs> what are you doing out here? I bet they're trying to get to the Phoenix on top of this mountain, too! Is that it? Is that what you're after? We've already been there, as a matter of fact. Most magnificent wing feathers, that bird. <gasps> oh my god, Professor, you're just lying like that? Ah, tip to the post again. After all the time we poured into solving that riddle. Hurry up, Macaw! Let's go and see the Phoenix! The Phoenix! Are you even listening, Robin? You've already got the egg. You never know. The phoenix might- <laughs> The penis might <laughs> lay another one just for us. No harm in asking. See you up ahead. What have I told you about running off? If you fall into another trap. Surely they do- Surely they do not intend to provoke that bird into laying an egg for them. Well, they'll have a different, difficult time of it. Adler is definitely male. <laughs> I see. Well, this is quite a predicament, and we're still no closer to finding the egg. If we could locate someone involved in town planning, it would be a different story altogether. That's not going to happen anytime soon. I haven't seen anyone older than Umid on the streets. Transbird, indeed. And the only clue we have to go on is that there might be an enormous bird that sparkles? Where on earth should we look? A moment. Oh, he's, he's pushing up his glasses so he can think harder. Professor Sycamore? Umid said that all the adults in Mosinia are suffering from this interminable sleep. Yet you, Miss Altava, and I have shown no signs of drowsiness or exhaustion. Yes, I suppose that's true. But what does that mean? Whatever induced the sleep is unlikely to be an airborne contagion of some sort must have come about by some other means. We need more information. The source of the illness must lie elsewhere. But where? Let's talk to the children in the city. Perhaps they will provide us with a clue or two. And you know, maybe you should like carry around a first aid kit and set in case one of these kids has like severely injured themselves after being unsupervised for a fucking week? But they're still like, no, let's see how these kids can help us forward our own agendas. Not really concerned with how they've been doing for a week with no parents. Oh, I, I was supposed to talk to the little kid again. Alright, Tamir. No, Tamir. I know this might be hard for you, but can you remember anything that might have caused your father to fall ill? Hmm. Yeah, I guess there might be one thing. We had a massive festival the night before in the honor of the Phoenix. Me and Daddy helped ourselves to all the food we could eat. My tummy's never stuck out as much as it did then. That sounds sensational. But then when we got home, right... I heard Daddy go out through the back. I thought he might be going for seconds. 
Well, more like sevenths. But then, why didn't he invite me? So that must be when whatever happened, happened. It sounds that way, alright. Come on, let's see if we can gather some more facts about this festival. Wait, you're gonna go? Then who am I gonna play with? What about the other children? Can't you play with them? I already asked. There's a girl that hangs around Priestess Hill, but she only ever wants to play with Umin. It's not fair. Umin's quite the popular one, isn't he? How about we pay this girl a visit? So you're not gonna play with me then? Well, if she doesn't look very moody, can you ask her again for me? Oh my god, I want you to just do this little dance all day. supposed to keep a girl waiting. Sorry, Mary, but it was important. These people are going to help us find the cure. Oh, well that's great news. And here I was worried that you were staying away just to spite me. Silly me. By the way, how are the grown-ups? Did anyone wake up yet? Well, Tamir's dad tried to scratch his nose, but he missed it by a good few inches. Apart from that, nothing new. I think hanging a nice lantern in front of them might help. Be a dear and lend me a hand, would you? <laughs> this is the hanging left shade Mary wants to make. It's made up of eight triangular panels, only two of them. To only two of which are decorated with an image. Have a look at the unassembled lamp unassembled lampshade on the touch screen. One panel has already been decorated with a star. Help Leighton and Umid work out where the moon should go to create the lampshade displayed on the top screen. Uh shit, I hate these with like the unfolded cube kind of shit. Uh there. My intuition should serve me well. Thank God. A satisfying puzzle indeed. Yeah, I accidentally scheduled my doctor's appointment for, a for April Fool's Day like a week and a half ago. And they were like, okay, well, we probably won't pl play a trick on you. And I was like, please don't joke about my medical records. <laughs> oh, there was one other thing. Gran was mumbling something about the phoenix in her sleep. She really loves that bird. Oh, that's right! Your Gran's seen the phoenix before, hasn't she? Mary's grandmother is the Keeper, with a capital K. She's the wisest person in the city, and she looks after the old temple to the north. We might find some clues there. Shall we go and have a look? <laughs> this stream gets to the point I hope it does, it'll be very festive for the holiday. Oh, yes, it will. I, I have a specific point that I want to get to before I close out, even if it costs me a little bit of sleep. I mean, not that it's, not that it's gonna take that long. Whatever, let's go. By all means, lead the way! He has chosen the bees? Take it this is the temple you were talking about, Umid? The architecture is stunning, though it's a shame to see it in disrepair. Are there any clues about the legend? Please, don't rush me. This is without, without a doubt Azran stone, but I can discern very little from the design. It's unfortunate that the people who or that the person who would know the subject best is, is incapacitated. Well, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Oh look, there's the keeper. So we have an adult that's maybe not fast asleep? Oh no, she is. 
she's sleeping standing up? Oh yeah, I also have, um, the blog spot walkthrough open up on, uh, on the other half of my screen here. I really, I really appreciate the help here. <laughs> Shit, I didn't even realize what they were saying. Um, so she's sleeping standing up. Her legs must be terribly tired by now. Peters, wake the... Wake the penis? Solve mural lies. Sleeping. Wish I knew what she was on about. Well, I guess we should probably just start looking around. Wake the fog up. Okay, Phoenix. Those look like very intricate patterns. Can you tell what they mean, Professor? He just gives this non-committal kind of like, uh, instead of saying, instead of admitting, no, Luke, there's something that I don't know. Oh, that right, well, wasn't me. Um, let's get out of here. Oh wait, shit, I'm supposed to still be gathering info at the temple. Uh, crap. SHIT! <laughs> I it's not my fault. Okay, I guess this must be important, because the music just changed dramatically. Do you suppose there's a clue about the phoenix here? The temple appears to be dedicated to the penis legend. These stone slabs are, in fact, not gravestones, but historical tablets. Well, that's interesting, but it's not much use to us if we can't read them. What's this? Oh, this tablet is different from the others. You're right. It's like the writing we saw in the Yazran Dome back in Cod. Allow me to read it. The penis grants guidance only to the chosen few, those who bear the celestial burden and complete the perpetual cycle. Igneous bird, born of dawn's west rays, cast your flaming wings over noon skies until your journey ends under an eastern moon. Those who complete the cycle find your way to the entrance of the phoenix's protection. It is said that when a phoenix dies, it rises from its ashes, reborn. One might say that it represents the circle of life. It seems the tablet is asking us to depict the cycle in some way. Yet where is the most crucial element, the circle itself? What about the large mural on the wall? Those engravings could represent a cycle, couldn't they? This is the perfect part of this game to be playing for Transgender Day of Visibility, which I always, my brain, like when I, when I just see like TDOV abbreviated, my brain always autocompletes to Trans Day of Violence, which I think it should be, like violence committed by us as trans people. T Dove. See the patterns around that central image? They look like suns to me. I think we might even be able to move them. Very well spotted, Emmy. In that case, we need to, we need simply align the patterns to match the story on the tablet. Okay, Nikki, what do you have to say about TDOV and crimes? Solve the murals puzzle. Dawn's west rays go to the left. Okay. Noon skies indicate the top. I stole chicken nuggets by accident.
A tremor? Most likely a direct result of our having completed the puzzle. According to the tablet, that would mean that we should find our way to the entrance of the Phoenix of the Penis's protection now. But I don't quite see what that signifies. Merely an idea, but perhaps the protection refers to the city's high walls. In which case, the entrance to the Phoenix's protection would be the main city's would be the city's main gate. It's certainly worth a try. Back to the city's main gate then. If we interpret the, phoenix, the penis's protection to mean the city walls, then we enter it when we step through this gate. You really think it's that simple? I'm not seeing anything around here. Wait, what's that up there? Oh, another tablet! Hey, Goob. Welcome back. Ah, an Azran Black. Maybe I've just spent my whole life staring at my feet, but I'm pretty sure I've never seen writing up there before. I can say with some conviction that whatever mechanism caused that tremor also revealed this tablet for us. We still can't read what it says, though. I can help you there. From its ashes of birth, the reborn bird takes flight from the pinnacle of time and seeks respite westwards. Beyond lie six immovable mountains. The phoenix settles on the second peak before crossing another on her way to paradise. The mountains she touches are resplendent with eternal light. When all is true, the bird shall open her heart. The pinnacle of time would appear to, to indicate the clock tower, no? That tracks. Ah, uh, that clock tower is an important monument in our city. We wind it up every festival. It's never stopped for a second. Most interesting. If we follow it westwards, then, as told in the inscriptions, we must look to the left. I don't see six movable mountains anywhere, though. What's that supposed to mean? What about the stone slabs along that beam? Very observant, Aurora. Shall we see if they can be operated? It lands on the second peak, and then crosses another. So, we have to light up the right stones to match the story. Phoenix settles on the second peak. For crossing another. the rest of the fucking rhyme, dude. What was the rest of the rhyme? I need it! <laughs>
Nature's fine. It's just me having issues. Sydney really holds secrets like this? It's all so hard to believe. That rumbling was closer than last time. It sounds as though the Phoenix has opened her heart to us. Perhaps heart would indicate the center of the city. Wow. I'd never have got to that so quickly. <laughs> well, a decade's worth of the Saturday cryptic does make one rather good at spotting wordplay. That's your explanation, huh? So... You're smart because you solve crosswords? You know, my dad died when I was young, so I never got to know him. But I heard he was a quick thinker like you. Sounds like he would have been a wonderful father. Hmm. If my daughter were still alive, she'd be about your age, too. Wow! Dude, you can't just drop that on a complete stranger! Especially when it's, like, a surprise to the rest of us. Like... Oh yeah, I used to have a daughter, but she's dead now. Sir? Oh, I... And see, now you've made Umid feel awkward. You... have a daughter, Professor? <sighs> Forgive me. This isn't the time. I'm so sorry. All that is in the past. What matters now is waking up the people of Mosinia. Uh, if you're sure, we should go to the city center then, and quickly, and then maybe to therapy. Okay. Hello. Hole. Everything's in place. Hmm. The statue is missing. I must say. I did not expect our actions to have such a noticeable effect on the town. Ah, as run technology. They never do anything by halves, do they? These ruins, along with the legend of the Phoenix, must have been a closely guarded secret. Fascinating, isn't it? If you'd permit me, I'd like to try my hand at deciphering the words inscribed. Its heart exposed, the Phoenix stirs. When life's essence flows from the Great Gate, the ancient bird will rise from slumber. Great Gate? Is that a metaphor? Oh, oh, I believe the identity of our phoenix is about to come to light. It was the fucking statue the whole time! Now we really can do Saki Land sexist Spider-Man Thanksgiving. That's gonna be a regular thing, isn't it? I want to see that ass clap, Professor! We just need to follow the clues as before. Let's locate this great gate. So, are we talking about real gates? There can't be very many to choose from. Precisely, Luke. Think about the gates we've come across in the city. Remember, not all gates are made for people. Hmm. But then, what would they be... Oh, the slew escape! Godspeed, sucky land! I watched uh, Sam Raimi Spider Man for the first time last night, and, uh, Green Go and Willem Dafoe Green Goblin lives in my brain now. And it all clicks into place. Good. Then back to the forest we go. Yeah, like, sorry, but like, Sam Raimi Spider-Man is something that just I totally missed as a child. I mean, it came out when I was in kindergarten. Bunny, I didn't know you had such strong feelings on the subject. It doesn't look like anything's changed since last time. Yet some change undoubtedly occurred. If we open the gate as the inscriptions tell us to, perhaps all will become clear. What? This ancient thing? You really think it'll move? Of course. 
All we need to do is unlock it. Okay, time to cheat again. It's like, it's, it's citrus stutters a little bit every time I like tab out to the other window. It doesn't. It doesn't like not being the focus of my attention. Okay, tell me the answer, Professor Layton Six Walkthrough Blogspot Com. I feel really bad for doing this for like an entire stream instead of just one or two puzzles. But I feel less bad because it's Azran Legacy. This was quite the conundrum. And there we have it. That they are. Oh shit, now we gotta cut some. That's a bunch of dirty sewer water. I threw a fit when I was like seven, and the first one came out, and my parents were like, You're too young to see this, it might be scary, and I was like, Bring me pictures of Spider-Man! Yeah, like that! <laughs> there it is! That's the phoenix! When life's essence flows, the ancient bird will rise. So this is the sparkling bird you were talking about? Yes, she is very pretty. So did we just fill the canals with water, or come? There's one thing I don't understand, though. If the town is supposed to be the phoenix, what are the phoenix's tears? Well, as tears flow from the eyes, I'd say that if we look for one of the phoenix's eyes, that is where we will find our cure. Life's essence from the phoenix. I know just where we can go find an eye. Follow me. Wait, Owl? You're new. And I can't investigate you. What the hell? Sucks. Oh, hey, we can see their asses this time. What's up, Nimrods? Alright, this is the last straw. The statue here was the Phoenix! It was right here under our noses, and now it's gone! Robin, calm down or you'll blow a gasket. Calm down? I'm perfectly calm! <laughs> Look, we checked every nook and cranny on this statue and there was nothing. I don't think it was THE Phoenix. Alright then, consider me only fuming mad. Uh... Is it any wonder the children keep throwing stones at us? It, it's just not fair, Maka! We try, and we try, and we try, but we don't get anywhere fast! No matter how much I run! <laughs> this is why you're the Norman of the Phoenix <laughs> Okay, sorry, I can make weird sounds at the back of my throat. Absolutely, thank you so much, Neil. Listen, I know it's hard to accept, but we've been beaten. And every time we get beaten, we bounce back. That's our style. Ah, maybe you're right. Maybe the phoenix just flew the coop and it'll be back again later. You never know. The city's got more tricks than an international pony conference. <laughs> brony? Targent has bronies? Targent, Targent is, is hiring bronies for, for as diversity hires? Find the Phoenix's eye. Is it this hill? Yeah. Here. The waters flow all the way down here. And it looks like piss now, too. Okay, what the hell? Look, the hill! So these are the tears of the phoenix. What do you mean? It's simple, Luke. Apartment 
complex? Really? I find it quite simple. The river that flows through Mosinia represents the phoenix, and this hill one of its eyes. In which case, it's likely that Umid's, ancestor, Umid's ancestors once likened the water around the hill to a phoenix's tears. That's incredible! Incredibly far-fetched! <laughs> Though you may believe it to be a far-fetched theory, you cannot argue with the cold hard facts. Yeah, maybe, but still. Then, does that mean that all the water around this hill is the cure we've been looking for? Almost, but not quite. The Phoenix's tears should, however, guide us to the location of the cure. I'm positive that the answers we seek are down there somewhere. have we here? There are slabs of text everywhere. I believe we've stumbled upon an Azran library. Forgotten history bestowed to the future. An Azran library? But what about the tears we're looking for? I would hazard a guess that the Phoenix's tears are a remedy that we must concoct ourselves. Most likely the Azran created the legend to ensure that only the most determined intellectuals meet it here. Intellectuals, huh? The Azran made sure that only people who owned air fryers would make it in this far. The Mycenaeans must have known. This place can't have gone untouched for so long. As an archaeologist, I am, I am rather envious of the Mycenaeans having lived so close to this ancient treasure trove. There is much I would like to examine, but first we should focus on rousing the adults. This will, of course, mean postponing our search for the egg further, but I think you'll agree it is the right thing to do. Absolutely. The city's safety takes priority over our mission. I'll begin working on this side if you, if you have no objections. Translation is my specialty, Professor. By all means, you can assist, but you'll hardly match my speed. Okay, show off. Do I detect a subtle rivalry between the two professors? I suppose I should be making myself useful, too. Emmy, do you remember the, pla the plants with jagged leaves we saw in the forest? Would you mind picking some for the remedy? We'll need the bark of an olive tree, too. Just you leave it to Emmy Altaba, assistant extraordinaire! She walked away at a, at a calm pace. Okay. Solving- okay, uh, whatever, we're making the cure now. Still don't know why all the adults are asleep. Where? What? Mom, you're awake! You're really awake! Oh, man. What's got into you all of a sudden? And who are all these people? Mom, you've been asleep for a whole week. I have? Oh. Oh, dear. I wonder whether it might have been Dormi Saporis. Dormi Saporis? Isn't that some kind of toxic mushroom? I was at the Phoenix Festival with your uncle. We often have a sort of after party to give us adults a chance to gossip and also get drunk. They had this delicious wild mushroom stew. I was going to bring you some, but I felt rather drowsy, so I just hurried home. I suppose someone doesn't know their Dormi Saporis from their. Ami's nomies? <laughs> I should have realized when I saw your uncle snoring away. I was so worried about you, Mom. Oh, I'm sorry to have scared you, Umi. But look, at least you've proved that you can stand on your own two feet for once. You know, as a twelve-year-old. Mom, what do you mean for once? Well, we've solved the mystery of the sleeping illness and made an incredible discovery. But we're still no closer to finding the egg. Oh, you mean this egg? <laughs> Aha! I thought I might find you tagging along with Umid. Ah, Mary, was it? Close, but you need to roll the R a bit. Anyway, I'm not here to lecture you. In fact, I'm here to tell you about a little parting gift. Graham burst into tears when she heard what you did. Now she wants to give you our phoenix egg. 
Ah, what is she like? Phoenix egg. Then that means... It's the egg you were looking for, isn't it? Go on. The keeper should be waiting at the temple. See ya. Must be the heroes that saved our city! An absolutely golden performance! Though I must confess, it was a bit of a rude awakening, and I was having such a pleasant dream. What matters is that you're all safe and sound. By the way, I believe you wish to see us about something? Really? No, oh, what was that? Ah, oh, yes! Yes, of course! You know, we as a people have endeavored to protect the secrets of the Phoenix for generations. We've been waiting all this time to share these secrets with the right people. You see, a part of the legend goes like this. And lo, when the celestial messenger descends, return the phoenix egg to her th that she may l bring light to the skies anew. I believe that messenger to be you, my dear. Please take the egg. We have all that history behind us, but there really is no time like the present. Egg acquired. Thank you. Wonderful, and I pray you have a safe journey. Well, all's well that ends well, then. I thought I'd seen a lot while traveling with the professor. But this adventure has taught me there's so much more out there to see. Now let's get the fuck out of here. What did that net me, like, three puzzles? Welcome back, sirs and madams. It seems that on a wing and a prayer, you managed to save the city. Not only that, but we are also able to acquire the egg. Mosinia is, as we had suspected, inextricably linked to the Azran. The discovery of the Azran library could have been a major archaeolo- ar archaeological fu I can't talk today. A major archaeological find. It's a shame not to expose it to the public. There's a time and a place for everything, Master. Incidentally, when you've decided on a departure time, simply let me know. Professor, I think I remember something about this place. Do tell. Even the smallest detail may be significant to us, Aurora. Okay, I'll do my best. I see... Uh, a giant mural. It shows a great firebird riding the wind's currents. Kiran of the Everlasting Flame. The sky is her playground, and death nearly slumber. The legend was passed down through the ages by the people of Mosinia, and will surely be carried on for generations more. It could be said that through storytelling, her flame burns on, everlasting. The legend and the penis are one and the same. A fascinating city. I hope to visit it again someday. But for now, we should retire and consider our next course of action. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Thank you for the follow, Just Me Rainbow. Uh, yes, we do want to save because I'm a little bit afraid about Citra just suddenly cancelling itself on me again. We've collected five ore stones in total. That should be all of them now. Without your aid, it would never have been possible. But what are we supposed to do with them? I believe all that remains is to call upon the power within me and connect with the ore stones. Power? What kind of power? Each time you touch an egg, you are able to bring back a piece of your memory. Is your power perhaps related to that? I believe so. I recall faintly that I have such a power. A power bestowed only upon the messenger of the Azran. With each stone, I felt a part of me that was once locked, awaken. Then, if, you were to let, if we were to let you touch all five stones at once, 
Is there a possibility that your memories would be fully restored? Oh no, you see, there's actually a six egg, and then we have to put them all into this cool glove, and then I have to do this! <laughs> Professor, I believe your people advocate a certain rule, and here it is no different. We won't know until we try. I can't believe it! We're really going to find out the secrets of the Azeran! I think that calling upon the power of the stones will require intense concentration. I'll need you to be really quiet, okay? Oh. Right. Sorry. That's alright. In reality, I'm afraid of what we may find. Being here with all of you, I feel... safe. It is the duty of every gentleman to treat his guests with the utmost hospitality. Thank you, Professor. I am ready to begin whenever you are. Professor, I have a feeling what happens next is going to be pretty big. Is there anything else you want to do before we ask Aurora to use the power of the Aura Stones? Uh, nope. We're going to go unleash the power. Wait, where do I- do I need to go? Where do I need to go? Uh... Time to disappear. I guess we're gonna go try to go back to COD. Oh, I just talked to Aurora, never mind. Alright, I'm going to release the power contained within the Aura Stones. Are you all ready? Okay! I'm, I'm glad to have another long time latent head in chat here. This is it, Professor. It certainly is, Luke. And let's begin. For whatever reason, one of them remains inactive. This is... not an aura stone. It's not? You mean... it's a fake? Blatant head just rolls off the tongue a lot more easily. Puzzle head also sounds pretty good. I... don't understand. If it were a fake, then it would not have resonated in my hands when we first acquired it. Then presumably, the real stone was swapped out at some point and replaced with a counterfeit. It's got to be Target. They're the only ones sneaky enough to do something like this. Speaking of only ones sneaky enough to do something like this... But why go through all that trouble? If they wanted the eggs, they could e just as easily have swapped out all of them. Hmm. Then perhaps their intent is not to hinder us, but to guide us. Professor, their intentions aren't what's important right now. What matters is getting that egg back. You're absolutely right, Emmy. But how might we track it down? That's a point. If it really was Tarjan's doing, it won't be easy to track down one of their airships. If I may interrupt, there's a possibility that the new location of the Aura Stone may appear on the walls of the Azran Dome. Oh, really? If that's the case, then our troubles are allayed. Let's go there immediately. The Azran Dome was in COD, wasn't it? Full speed ahead! 
Oh, he's so determined. Um, Citra? <laughs> Citra, are you fucking okay? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, Annie, do you dislike my outfit? Not at all. Those Azran robes are part of who you are. They're not something I'd wear, but they suit you perfectly. I think I feel more comfortable like this. <laughs> then my days as a fashion advisor are over. Well, off you go then. You needn't worry about me. I am fulfilling my mission, the purpose for which I am here. I should go then. I believe that the real ore stone can be found in this location. Ah, that is unfortunate, but not un not unexpected. Hmm. You know this place, Professor. I'm afraid so. The egg is currently being kept in Targent's headquarters, at the center of a foul, unsavory place known as the Nest. That it was indeed Targent who stole the fifth egg and replaced it with a fake. Professor, we can't simply walk into Tarjan's base, can we? No. This will be a very dangerous operation. If we are to infiltrate Targets Tarjan's base, we'll have to keep our senses sharp. And, you know, maybe pack some heat, because you know they are, Professor. One does not simply walk into Tarjan's base. They then proceed to walk into Tarjan's base. But... We do that anyway, don't we? In fact, I'm meaning to say, didn't you feel something different about Cod this time? I wonder if all the places we visited have changed. Maybe we should go back and make sure we haven't missed any puzzles. I really don't care. The boy's right. We should make sure we are completely prepared before attempting to visit the nest. Okay, get, get ready. This, this is gonna be like 500 puzzles. Let's see, that's... Uh, 12, 18, 24, oh, that's not quite as many, 26, okay, now let's go back to Keats and solve, like, uh, 15 puzzles. gonna go down these in order. You might- I'm, you might have to paste that again. Oh, wait, actually, let me copy it into note- into notepad here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I remember this one at least. Puzzle. You know, I think this may be it. Puzzle solving is a most gentlemanly pursuit. Sure thing, Professor. Okay. Number 54. I don't have 54 on here, damn it! Uh, 61 be my guest. Oh, Lagunia is such a prettier name than Lucia. I mean, Lucia's, Lucia's still not bad. 
How many guests were there? 25. Okay. Allow me to demonstrate. At least we get to see A his smiling face. elegant puzzle. Show me horsing around. Sixty-three? Damn it, no. Seventy-five? No. Uh, do I have shame face clock up here? No. Ninety-two! There, thank you. I bet the, these ones are all like hidden puzzles or something. Oh no, it, that's not your fault. Uh, 17. Let's try this. Puzzles are a tonic for the mind. I do remember from when I was trying to do them earlier before stream and then Citra quit on me. Okay, this one is five. Want an answer? How's this? Piece of cake. Again, I feel really bad for like bum rushing all these puzzles and look like looking up the answers too. But I need to do this for, for the stream to actually like be interesting. Again, I already forgot. Uh, it's called Shopping Street. Oh, I missed the grape. Okay. Professor's Apprentice saves a day! <laughs> and so, of course, Citra doesn't like me. strawberries. We need to get like 72 solved. Okay, that is very helpful. I'm fairly sure about this. Oh, I did it! Is how it's done. Good stuff. Uh, 
What else do you want to be doing? Uh, oh, yes, yeah, stage silhouettes. Here's my answer. Critical thinking is the key to success. These guys again. I did it faster than they could animate them all jumping into boats. Okay, here we go. Yes, I got it. Sixty-three. Hmm. Nine more. Okay. Eighteen. You know, I think this may be it. Very good, Descolé. Puzzle solving is a most gentlemanly pursuit. <laughs> That sounded like it was his puzzle solving quote. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that's that's my that's my raid. That's my raid message. I just love very good Descolet from the, from the end of Miracle Mask. Okay, to everyone everyone pretend that Stitcher isn't stuttering every time I click something that's not it. Oh, just a 70. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Neil. You're being a huge help. Which way does each squirrel go? Okay, you go. You just make a straight shot here. Just like Diabolical Box. Definitely do not stand that or kneel. the directions touch a real card on couple it okay cool how do I 
Can I get it up here? Yeah, that looks like that. Damn it, I did this wrong again. Thanks for stopping by uh, Just Me Rainbow. I, I really appreciate it and hope you sleep, sleep well. <laughs> I will not be defeated by this puzzle. I'm looking at the step-by-step -step solution, even. Move to the top line. Disconnect the engine. Couple the engine to the red rail car. Oh, because I need to go all the way around like this. Let's shed some light on this one. Excellent, if I do say so myself. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's do very specific scoops. I want to do an ice cream puzzle. That was lemon, not vanilla. Whatever. Still based, I guess. Okay, I don't even have to look at a guide for this one. These are fun. <laughs> okay, Emmy, time to shine. Bring on the next one. All right, two more. So let's do burger building. That's a lot more ingredients. Right, I'm all set. I'm in top form today. I know. On April Fools, we all go to McDonald's and ask for the Among Us burger. The look on the workers' faces would be awesome. Okay, one more. I like the sound of potion placement.
Okay, whatever. I'm already looking at the guide. I don't care. Set him up and knock him down. I'm literally looking at the guide. How did I fuck that well, up? Well, that could have gone better. Oh, I put the green one over to one square. Wrong. That's the answer. This is how it's done. Good stuff. Okay. Now we can move on. Let's fly to the nest. Which is apparently, like, so well hidden that it's chartable on our GPS. So, uh, way to go for that one, Targent. What the hell is this, future London? It's too quiet here. This is most unsettling. I can't see a single soul outside. I was sure they'd be waiting for us with weapons in hand. Hmm. Something is not right. Why did they let us land here without trouble? I have no doubt that Bronev is expecting us. Which means that his agents are probably waiting to ambush us in the streets. I'm afraid so. I wish they'd just come out now and be done with it. Maybe Bronov actually wants to talk to us? Such arrogance. Very well, Bronov. If you wish to play games with us, be prepared to lose. Let's march straight into their base, then. They've practically invited us, after all. This is... Oh, this, made... this place is giving me such horrid vibes. Oh, but it's got that sexy sass. So this is the nest? That's the Empire State Building. So this is where the symbols in the Azran Dome directed us. The nest. I feel the power of the Aura Stone within. I'm sure of it. We are about to head deep into enemy territory. I can't say what might happen. Are you ready, Aurora? I am. This is my mission, and I intend to fulfill it. Don't worry. I'm here to protect you. I won't let Target hurt anyone. We're lucky to have you by our side, Emmy. Well then, let's track down that last egg. Who's shooting at me? Oh wait, that no man. That that sounded like like with the way my headphones played that sound to me, it sounded like it was coming from like right behind me. <laughs> anyway, I'm normal. I'm DVD normal. What was that? What was that noise? It came from over there! We should investigate. Quickly. This is what I get for joking about how much I love misogyny. I know someone's shooting at me, but I'm gonna scroll through the trash looking for hit coins. A Susie name! <laughs> it run towards the gunshots! Oh my god! Milo Thatch? Milo Thatch from Disney's Atlantis? <laughs> Come on, Mac. You have to keep going. He's... He's... He's shot! There he is. Don't let him get away. He's not able to leave the city. City? Professor, wasn't that Mr. Macintosh? It was. And it looks as though he is Targent at his heels. What is he doing here? I thought he was investigating us around the ruins. Hmm. Perhaps it was Targent's doing. Then we have to help him. Yes, of course. He went back towards the landing strip, I think. 
Okay, so let's chase him back there again. Oh, Mr. Macintosh. You lot loitering around here for? Get out of the way! Where did that little runt go? He's going to be in a world of pain when I find him. I don't think they're paying much attention to us. Then let us keep it that way. If we remain discreet, we'll have a much better chance of getting to Mr. Macintosh before they do. Hey, you look like you look like a fun guy. A rats! Where did he go? Hey, you there in the pit? Have you seen a man come by with foppish hair and round glasses? I... I don't know. Hey, wait a minute! You're just like the girl the boss was looking for! Ah, never mind. No time for that now. Gotta find Mr. Fop. Mr. Fop. Okay, uh... Well, where did he go? Mr. Fop, just like Clevy again. Ah, uh, that's. What? Well, I can't let them find me. Oh, Macintosh! They hate limping even more than they hate running! Professor, Macintosh, Macintosh has just gone to the big Tarjan airship! He did not look well. No, I'm afraid he's been injured. We must get to him before Tarjan do. It's so dark. I can hardly see a thing. No one is here. I do not sense anyone else in this room. If the man is intending to flee the nest in this airship, who will have headed to the bridge. But I doubt Targent will just let someone fly off in one of their military-grade airships and not do anything about it. Then we should find him quickly! I've been here before. I can show you where the bridge is. Uh, yeah, open this door. It's locked! <sighs> we can't get stuck in here. I fear Mr. McIntosh has locked all the doors behind him to slow his pursuers. But we have to get to him! Come on, there must be a way to open it. Okay, this puzzle I'll do for realsies. Unless it- UNLESS IT SUCKS LIKE THIS ONE. Fuck. Okay, Emmy, time to shine. Bring on the next one. Professor, it's open. Excellent work, Emmy. Now let's press on. Again. Dear, is that... What? what are you doing here? You gonna give me a puzzle this time? You gonna try and crush me with cargo this time, buddy? Don't even think about going through there. This guy is mine. I have to get to him before the others do. Eat this! Eat this! Yeah, Target does have some pretty baller themes, even if they suck. This again. Whee! I'm having fun. Oh, shit. 
Damn it! I know I can do this one. There we go. Did that one all honestly? Like God. My intuition should serve me well. A satisfying puzzle indeed. He's fine. He has a mild concussion. It's fine. Ah, oh, come on. Do you know how long it took me to set those up? Macintosh went this way, didn't he? We need to talk to him. Step aside, or there will be trouble. No chance! The archaeologist is my prize. Capturing him should get me a nice fat reward from the boss. Now, now, let us stay calm. Stand down, Emmy. No! I don't care who I'm up against. I'm your assistant, and I will protect you, Professor. Please, Emmy, hear me out. If this agent wanted to collect a big, fat reward, as he put it, he would not be standing here arguing with us. He would have caught his quarry straight away and gone back to his superiors without a look in our direction. Why didn't he? Could it be that he's having second thoughts about his involvement in Targent? That's ridiculous. Is it, sir? Well then, tell me why you carry no weapon. Surely a gun is standard issue for a Targent field operative. Ugh. Come, Emmy. I believe Macintosh will have gone this way. Somebody's having a heel face turn. Oh, there's Mr. Macintosh bleeding out on on the bridge. Mr. Macintosh. <laughs> What are you doing here? Uh, am I dreaming? You are not dreaming, Macintosh. Please, come to your senses. <laughs> it's too late. I was going to hijack this ship. Laughable, eh? Don't talk. You need to conserve your strength. You have to get away from here. Even if they promised you could... <laughs> Study the Azran. Don't do it. Leave. Bronev uses our intention to control the researchers. He's a snake. Twist your words makes us into c c criminals. Please, Macintosh, you must be still. You were injured. Listen, please. Everyone wants. We all just wanted to be free. To do our research without. Threats or constraints. If Tarjan can go back, back to what it should be, maybe our wish will come true. P please, <laughs> Bone of. Stop it. Mr. McIntosh! You're, you're literally standing on his corpse. You're standing on him. <laughs> Desmond, you're standing on him. Let's carry him to the Bostonius. Quickly now, he needs urgent medical attention. Yes, there's no time to lose. Luke's like, saw my second dead body today. Oh no. Dear diary, saw my second dead body today. Targent will go to any lengths to get their hands on Azran artifacts. It seems they were once mainly a research organization, but Bronev's ruthless ambition has led them relentless to le led to them relentlessly increasing their military power. Bronev seems to be using Targent to fulfill his own ambition. How is he, Raymond? Stable. I have cleaned the wound and patched him up. Though he has lost some blood, his injuries are not life-threatening. Thank goodness. That's a great relief. In that case, can we leave him in your care? Of course, Professor. Please, go ahead and pursue your purpose here. I will look after the patient. Professor, did you hear what Ma Mr. McIntosh said earlier? What do you mean? He said something about Targent going back to what it should be. Hmm. Well, this is mere conjecture. But I suppose Targent may not always have been the criminal organi organization it is today. <sighs> if I may interject. It's possible that a good man imbued with a strong sense of purpose may, though his cause be true,
be pushed to reckless ends. Following his, his vision to the exclusion of all else, he sees only his goal, not what it costs. It is a form of madness. They made him work retail on a holiday weekend. <laughs> now, if such a visionary were to head a large and powerful organization, the very nature of that organization might become warped. So what you are saying is that Targent was made into what it is today, by the ambition of its leader, Bronev. <laughs> or perhaps these are only the ramblings of an old man. I see. I will keep your words in mind. If Tarjan is warped, then it's our job to straighten it out. Right, Professor? It's like, Raymond inboxes? Indeed. Let's head deeper into their base. You know, like, we only ever hear his name as Raymond, he has no surname given, so it might as well be Raymond inboxes. I suggest we head down the street that Macintosh appeared to be coming from. There's my favorite turncoats. Aha! It's Top Hat Man! Stop right there! Kindly let us pass. We are here to see your leader, Bronev. Ha! You think you can fool me with your mild look and fancy words? Here, let's see if you can outwit this puzzle. Well, see, I've outwitted you all, like, what, six times now? So, uh, but, uh, yeah, who's keeping score? <gasps> Pirates! Let's do this. Wait a minute. There's no way it's this easy. Maybe it's not. Shit. Mega crap. Oh, come on, we can do this. like this. What am I doing wrong? Oh, well, obviously I keep doing the same thing over and over, which cannot possibly turn out well. Oh, come on. You want to turn into sailors? You want to turn into sailors so bad? I fixed it. This was quite the conundrum. There we have it. Ah, this is bad. This is very bad. You weren't supposed to solve that. But we did. Now, will you kindly let us pass? No. I don't care. We'll fight you if we have to. Punch. Pow. <laughs> right, right, Macaw? Go. The headquarters are in that tall building right ahead. You'll find the boss's office on the top floor. Yeah, you can't miss it! Just go all the way up until- Hey, hey dude, we talked about this. What? Don't lose it, Robin. Listen. We've been all around the world in the last few months. Few months? Few months? I finally had it. This isn't what I signed up for. I'm happy to go around running errands for the boss. But when it comes to killing people, I'm out. Farewell, Targent. I quit. So I have no objection to letting you pass, sir. Uh. Thank you. H hang on a sec. You're quitting? Leaving Targent? 
You heard me, Robin. I'm out. I'm sick of being treated like a pawn. We've had some good times together, though, eh? What are you talking about, you nitwit? You can't leave! We're partners! You think I'm just going- You think I'm going to just stand here and wave you off? Fat chance! If you're leaving, then I'm leaving too! Hey, does this mean we can steal the Zeppelin? I've always wanted to fly that thing! Wait! We've not finished discussing this, Robin! Ugh, he never changes. Good luck, then. Before you go, the archaeologist that we were trying to help earlier, Macintosh, is in our airship. He has received some treatment for his wound, but he will still need to be seen by a doctor. If you're planning to escape, could you please take him with you? It's the least I can do, sir. Perhaps we'll see you again when it's all over. Now then, Sergeant's headquarters are in the tall building just ahead. Oh wait, hang on, I gotta see what this what this episode is about. About the two of them. Here's the egg! Uh, no, there's the egg! There are eggs everywhere! Calm down, Robin. We need to focus and make sure we find the real egg. Well, I'm ready for anything. We'll find that egg if it, if, even if it means wrestling a lion. Be careful what you wish for. I've heard there's a vicious beast in these parts. Well, what are we doing hanging out here, then? Waiting for it to pounce on us from behind? Let's take the initiative! What are you- Robin, wait! I reckon that if we find this phoenix, we can get it to lay an egg. How hard can it be? That's a feather-brained idea if I ever heard one. Still, we must be in the right place. These are Azran ruins. We'll never, have, we'll never have a better chance to get our hands on an egg. Do you think the boss is, you know, keeping an eye on us, Makah? Unlikely. I doubt he really cares about what his henchmen are up to. And we've got to make him care! We'll work harder than ever until he notices us! <laughs> Perhaps this time I'll take a leaf out of your book for a change. <laughs> you know how I like my eggs, Macaw. In Targent's possession, that's how. I'm impressed you can remain enthusiastic after all our failures. Well, my mom always said that a positive attitude was the key to success. Do your best and the rest will follow. That's my motto. You may jump to conclusions a little too often, but you're a good man, Robin. If only I had a can-do attitude like yours. No reason you shouldn't, Macaw. You're the brains of the operation. You get more done than anyone. Well, I suppose it's because I've got a partner who believes in me. Well, looks like it's time to fly the coop in search of a better life. Got anything in mind, Macaw? Actually, I do. I'm thinking we might be better off on the straight and narrow. Do some good for a change. What? No more criminal misdeeds? No more making a mockery of ourselves? How will we survive? We'll manage. So, tell me. What would you say to a new career at Scotland Yard? Of course you want to be cops. You had so much going for you! I know it sounds crazy, but it's gotta be better than a kick in the teeth, or being a retired henchman. Well, count me in! I think it's about time we show the boss that he's not the boss of us! So we're off to London, are, are we? Stay right, stay right there. I'll get the engine started up. Oh, hold on, what, what about packing and all the... Oh, well. Some things never change.
Dicke heeft je as mee. It's okay, I'm gonna pretend they became comedians. They probably flunked, flunked out, of, out of the police academy really fast because they were too funny. This must be it. The very heart of Tarjan's evil operations. But it's deserted! How come there aren't any guards or anything? Because Bronov isn't trying to stop us from finding him. Well, let's not keep him waiting. It's kind of time to get the last egg back. Ooh, final mystery! Brojan. Er I tried to read Bro Bronov and Targent Mastermind at the same time and got Brogent. Bro. Alright. Bronov is waiting for our heroes in the Obsidian Tower, a, sky a skyscraper at the heart of the nest. As the commander of Targent, Bronov is undeniably a powerful man. Why does he need to lure Professor, Fa Professor Layton and the others onto his own turf? Why is he luring us here? If he wanted to get his hands on all the Azran eggs, he could have just had them stolen along with the other one. Damn, not even any hint coins on this on this scene. All right, then away we go. Oh, this music kills me. It's so. What is this? I feel Azran power emanating from that column. Did Bruna intend us to see this? Why? Who knows how the man who the, how the man's mind works? I wonder if he built the tower around the column just to conceal its presence. The engravings on the column are the Azran people's records, left for those who would come later. their history into this stone? I believe so. I will try to read it. Our secrets and our power have been locked away, sealed within the five Aura stones. Only with these five will the path open, the sanctuary beckon, and our power be set free. It mentions the five Aura stones, does it? Given Targent's recent actions, I think we can assume that they can read this script and are well aware of its contents. Indeed. And they may also know what to do with the five eggs once they've been gathered. This, this text explains it all. The Aura Stones guide their holder to the Sanctuary. Perhaps if I had all five stones in front of me, I could remember something more. It is there, just beyond my reach. I can almost recall, but... No. Don't be upset, Aurora. You have already helped us a great deal. We know enough for now. Something still bothers me. If Targent knew they needed all five Aura Stones, why didn't they steal all of them, instead of just one? Why lure us here? Well, I suppose we'll find out when we see Bronov in person. Look, Professor! I think that's a lift over there. Shall we take it? Appears to be our only option. I don't see any other way up. Hey, there's a there's a guy. So we have a guard posted opposite the lift, no other way up. He isn't very likely to let us pass. I think he needs to go for a little catnap. Hmm? 
What are you planning? I gathered some of those dormy Sepurius mushrooms while we were in Mosinia, thinking they might come in useful. The spores from just one of these should put the guard to sleep for hours. Now, stand back, everyone. Do you want to do a puzzle about shooting this guy full of shrooms? <laughs> puzzle 120. Snoozy Sores Plan. I made these potent sleep bombs just in case, and everyone else is like, this is a normal hobby for a, for, for a professor. Professor Sycamore has a cunning plan for getting past the Tartan Guard. He's crafted two sleep bombs packed full of Dormi Sapori spores. Now it's just a case of bouncing one to the guard station. Bombs are deflected at a right angle when they hit a board. Additionally, whenever a bomb hits a board marked with a circle, the board itself will also rotate 90 degrees. It's up to you to fire bombs from the vents on the left and get one of them to land next to the vent on the top right. Okay. So. Knowing that I have two bombs instead of just one, I'm gonna have to use my first bomb to turn some of these, like, on purpose. Quite a few for me. I'm gonna hit the one that looks like a Pokeball next. Oh shit, I just did that because it looked Upon like Pokemon. Careful consideration. Logical thinking is essential in my line of work. Hey, bunny. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I thought you were calling Neil a douche, and I was supposed to be like, hey, hey bring, it bring it down a notch here. <laughs> Phew, looks like it worked. You really are prepared. I had to bring some form of protection. These target thugs would certainly have no qualms about using force against us. They follow Bronev's orders blindly, even if it means hurting innocent children. So yes, I came with a trigger two up my sleeve. Even so, if they catch us, we could be in deep trouble. Have no fear, Luke. I will not let anything happen to you. But... Professor... I'm gonna be a gentleman like you. I shouldn't need anyone to protect me. Dude, you're 10! You're like 10, you're 11, you're, you're a baby! In fact, I should be the one protecting my friends. And that's what I plan to do. Ha! <laughs> that's what I'd like to hear. Anyway, let's get a move on. Awkward elevator scene, just like... Hmm. Hmm. I wonder how Mr. McIntosh is doing. Oh, he's dead. I mean, he's probably fine. His injuries weren't as severe as they appeared. But he's with those Targent men. I just hope he's okay. You know, from what Macintosh said, it sounds as though Targent have other researchers here. Of course. Bronev likes to surround himself with experts. How else would he be able to solve those ancient Azran puzzles? But why would all those researchers want to work for the bad guys? What makes you think they have a choice? Once upon a time, they could have been ordinary people, leading happy, uneventful lives. 
but when Verona threatened their families, it was either join Targent or... Well, I'm sure you can imagine. Excuse me for asking, Professor, but what about you? You are a known expert on the Azran, are you not? Yes, and Targent have certainly given me plenty of reason to resent them. Almost to the, at the top. Be on your guard. This is all kinds of wacky. Is that Aurora? Are you all right? Yes. Yes, I'm all right. It's just the energy feels so strong here. Has it brought back more of your memories? Y yes Something about my mission from a time long ago. The memory feels different from my recent memories with all of you. It is familiar and yet frightening. It's okay, Aurora. We're here for you. Thank you, Luke. Professor, I will do my best. I will fulfill my role as messenger. Giant pillar! Hello. This is what is written here. We reached the apex of civilization. Ultimate knowledge was ours. What did we learn? That secret is kept by the messenger. As her heart is pierced, let it be revealed. And let enlightenment be delivered. Our last legacy to the world. Their last legacy to the world? Wow. That sounds pretty momentous if you ask me. In a manner of speaking, perhaps. It's hard to be sure. But I fear the Azran's legacy is, to us is not a blessing, but a terrible threat. That's ominous. <sighs> Hmm. Perhaps, depending upon our actions, the exact nature of their legacy may change. Interesting. So, perhaps it could be either good or bad. What do you suppose Bronov hopes to find? Treasure? Some kind of weapon? <laughs> Opposite, name of the game, game's over, credits. <laughs> Honestly, if... If I could end it here, I would. Like, if I if I were, like, executive producer of Azran Legacy, I would just be like, hmm, we're stopping the game right here. <sighs> I couldn't hazard a guess. But we've already seen Azran technology that can alter climate and harness the waves. Whatever this last legacy is, it will certainly be powerful. And though I can't say what Bronev's ultimate goal is, it's clear he intends to use this power for his own ends. We'd better hurry. We cannot leave the last egg in Bronov's possession. Plus I love this... this tragic music. More like, bro, don't! Don't taste me, bro! Alright, so how do you want me to get over to this elevator? It looks as though there's another lift going straight up from here to the top floor. Okay then, let's get in. <laughs> Professor, the lift won't open! I can see, like, he's trying, he's trying to force it open with his hands, like... <laughs> Look, there's a manner of control panel here. It appears we need to enter a code to activate the lift. Touch ten buttons. Touch tone telephone. The control panel for the lift contains 25 buttons, 10 of which need to be pressed to activate the lift. The rows and columns are marked with numbers that indicate how many buttons in that row or column need to be pressed. Okay, that's great. No button should be pressed on, a, on rows with column or columns marked zero. But we don't know what these ones say. But 
some of them are missing. Okay, so I can roll out shit. Trying to draw a straight line with a mouse is difficult. I can roll out those two right away. And because this one has four, that means it's gotta be all these. That should, that should be it. But I can't- Oh, but I have to press ten buttons. And that I've pressed here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. Oh, I need to press one more! That is a little bit difficult. <gasps> there we go! Now the eagle's gonna shoot me. My intuition should serve me well. A satisfying puzzle indeed. Good. Then up we go. You're awfully composed about all of this, Professor. I am surprised that anyone would build such a tower, large enough to enclose a great Azran pillar. It is no doubt just another way for Bronov to exhibit his wealth and power and phallic imagery. A transparent and tasteless endeavor. Hmm. I did not realize until now how important the Azran civilization was. I just don't know. If somebody solves the mystery of the Azran, what will become of me? I know you're anxious, Aurora, but we're, we're sure to get some answers when we talk to Bronov. Yes. Yes, you are right. must be Bronov's office. Uh, it looks very intimidating. The egg is behind those doors. Excellent. Then let us press on. Hello? We've only seen you once before. Hello, wasted character potential. Professor Herschel Layton. You're here to see the boss. And who are you? Literally, he's only appeared once before this. Like I said, wasted character potential. He appeared in one cutscene, talking to Bronov near the beginning of the game, and that's it. My name is no concern of yours. I am here to determine whether you are truly worthy of the boss's time. Should you not be out there searching for your escaped prisoner? That pitiful archaeologist? He's just a pawn. No use in expending energy on him. I am more interested in you and your qualifications. Let's have a look at your results. Quickly now. Let's not make this any harder than it needs to be. Hmm. Looks like you've solved the required 75 puzzles. You must have traveled all over. Okay, in you go. The boss is waiting. That man, that... Macintosh, was it? We get a few troublemakers like him who can't take orders. They usually end up running. 
He wanted his freedom. I cannot blame him. We were on the verge of acquiring the power of the greatest civilization that ever lived. Only a fool would throw that away. A fool or a weakling. Don't you understand? Tarjant would, would never have come this far without using strength and authority. But you kidnap people! And they are lucky enough to have a part in our glorious mission. The very heart of Tarjant is in its military might and the great man who wields it. Commander Bronev. Hmm. <laughs> I lost my cool there. Never mind. You'll understand when you meet the boss. Go. Very well. Goodbye, Swift. See you never. Bronov is waiting for us. Once we enter that room, there will be no going back. Are you all ready for this? Once you go through these doors, you'll be unable to travel freely until you complete the main story. Which I know sounds like the game is gonna end after we confront Bronov, but there's still two more chapters after that. It's just Railroad City. Make sure you've done everything you wanted to do before proceeding. Yep, proceeding through those doors. Of course you're ready, Professor! It's time to get that egg back and finally solve the Azran mystery! So Bronov is just behind those doors. If we can get the last ore stone back from him, I believe my memories will come back to me. Yes, the time has finally come. Swexy office here. <laughs> well, well. At long last, here you are. How'd you like this nest of ours? Bronif! You soulless monster! I'll make you pay for what you've done! Ah! You've brought some extra baggage along with you, I see. However, I have no interest in the brains of fools. No, no. Professor Layton, you are the one I've been waiting for. I would like to extend an invitation to you to join Targent. I beg your pardon? This is an absolute joke! Don't listen to him! Don't feign surprise, Layton. You are, after all, an archaeologist. One who has seen the Azran ruins and knows their significance. Power and wisdom beyond anything that mankind possesses today. Don't tell me you aren't tempted. The advancement of man's knowledge is a worthy goal, but one that should be pursued in freedom, not at the cost of human rights. <laughs> Such a noble sentiment. However, you also are here today because you seek the Azran eggs. What difference is there really between you and me? We are nothing like you. We understand the importance of free will. So why would we want to become your slaves? Free will? <laughs> are you so attached to your independence that you'd forego the rewards of working together for a greater goal? No matter. Let us not dwell in our disagreements. How about a little game? This one is a favorite of mine. A simple coin game. The winner takes the Azran egg. Are you in, Leighton? Very well. What are the rules? I shall lay out 24 coins in a row. You and I will then take turns picking up coins. On your turn, you may pick up one, two, or three coins, as you prefer. The same applies to me. The person who picks up the last coin wins the game. It's as simple as that. Huh. It is a game of strategy, I see. Now then, let us begin. I will let you decide who goes first. Uh, I think he should 
should go first. <laughs> the strategy of this game works better if you if you're responding to to a certain number of coins than if you're deciding. Basically, you're trying to leave an even number for the other guy. Well then, Bronev, I appear to have won. Now, I believe the Azron Egg was the prize we agreed on. I suppose I have no choice, do I? You can have the egg. But before you start to feel smug, I'd like to show you something. You've outdone yourself today, my dear. Everything's delicious. Well... Well, of course! Don't you know what Shit, I don't know who's talking to who. I'm gonna say this, uh, his mom's this one. Well, of course! Don't you know what day it is today? It's the day we brought little Herschel home. More than 30 years ago now. Can you believe it? Has it really been that long? Yes, I suppose it has. But we've been lucky, haven't we? It's been such a happy time. So it has. So it has. No! How? A charming old couple, are they not? You must be very fond of them, Leighton. I... What do you intend to do to them? Those are his parents, for anyone that's not familiar. Those are Leighton's parents. Nothing at all, if you accept my invitation. Don't pay any attention, Professor. It's a trick. How tiresome you are. I warn you, Leighton, if you listen to his drivel, I'll have no more mercy for you than I had for him. Now then, the choice is yours. What will you do? I... My parents... No. I will never join Targent. You won't. <laughs> so, you really don't care about your parents after all. And I thought you were such a soft-hearted man. No, I I'm leaving Nikki's comment because it's true. So you won't accept my offer. Suit yourself. Oh, I won't coerce you. I'd rather let you go free and see what you do. Here, have the infamous egg. But know this, Lee. Wherever you go, I'll be just one step ahead, waiting for you. So long, boys. Professor? Threatening your parents? That man's depravity knows no bounds. Professor, are you sure that was... I mean, what's going to happen now? I don't know, Luke. But that footage wasn't live, at least. It wasn't? That party took place last week. I was sorry to miss it. In fact, I spoke to my mother on the telephone just yesterday. Ma and Pa are perfectly fine. For the moment, at least. What a happy coincidence that you called them so recently. It was, wasn't it? 
I must hope that Bronov is too focused on the Azran to follow through with his threats. The thought of him harming my parents. He had me so shaken, I was fooled at first, you know. If Professor Sycamore had not interjected, I fear I would have given in. Thank you, Professor. I am extremely grateful. It was nothing. I am familiar with Tarjan's trickery. I wonder if this egg is just another trick. The last egg. It's real. Egg! This is... Mm. Egg acquired right in the middle of this dramatic scene. This is the last aura stone. Professor, I... Once I release the power of the aura stones, I may not be myself anymore. Do you really think so, Aurora? Ever since we entered this tower, I have experienced a very strong feeling. Not happiness or sorrow or fear, but something more like compulsion. The urge to fulfill my mission, to remember my duty as the Azran Emissary. I feel a great gulf between myself and all of you. Do not worry, Aurora. You are more than just the Azran Emissary. You are also our trusted companion and our friend. Whatever anxiety grips us, we face it together as one. Do you really mean that, Professor Sycamore? Professor Layton? Of course. No matter what happens, we all believe in you, Aurora. Thank you. Thank you. Your words have given me strength. I'm ready to activate the Aura Stones and release their power. But not in here. We should go outside for this. Is everyone ready? I shall begin. O oh, five stones of Aura, hear the call of the Emissary. Reveal unto the world your true form. Azran eggs. Awoken by Aurora's command, the five eggs have each begun projecting a beam of light. However, something about the beam seems off, resulting in the unlit patches seen on the ground. Taking one egg at a time, adjust the beams by moving the purple squares with the stylus and then giving a very brief tap to make the dark squares light and vice versa. If you light up all the dark patches to create a solid beam of light, the egg will activate. Do this with all five eggs and get them to reveal their true form. This is interesting. My intuition should serve me well. A satisfying puzzle indeed. Cracked it! You can't make an Azran key without breaking a few eggs! I never expected the eggs to change their shape like that. This is it. The five eggs, or five keys. Combining into combined into one master key that will unlock the power of the Azran. Okay, the eggs turn into a key. Mystery solved. <laughs> Aurora, is something wrong? My 
My head... No! I don't believe it! It is a lie! What is it? Aurora, come back! The power of the Azran must not be unleashed. I... I remember everything. I remember what the Azran legacy is. I remember... who I really am. What do you mean? As long as I remain, only ruin awaits. But if I were gone... That's not true. Even if you were to leave us now, it's too late. Events beyond our control are already in motion. The world is in great peril. Your death will not change that now. So what am I supposed to do? Come with us. Help us secure the Azran legacy. It has all come back to me. All the things I don't want to remember. Did the Keystone trigger those memories? Yes. The Azran have a message for whoever should manage to piece it together. In the place of awakening, the gateway stands. Open the way, enter the sanctuary. There our power lies. As the key was constructed, I knew these words. I feel I have always known them. The sanctuary of the Azran stirs. It calls to me. No. We must dispose of the keystone. We can't let that last door be opened. Come now, Aurora. You are just feeling a little overwhelmed. Perhaps the power held in this key is too much for you. You. Perhaps you're right. Even now, the power flowing through me is almost too much to bear. You look rather pale. We should take some time to rest before we attempt our next step. I will look after the key in the meantime. Now, try to get some rest. Thank you, Professor. Ha! Hmm? <laughs> Is something wrong? <laughs> I win this round, wouldn't you say, Leighton? It can't be. Dude, it was literally his most transparent now. skies yet. Descole. You? You were with us all along? But why? I don't understand. Why what? Why did I take you with me all over the world? My only concern, my sole purpose in life, is to bring down Targent. Targent took away everything that was important to me. What? what? I knew you would be an asset what? in my battle against them. So I used you later. It is as simple as that. Who are you, really? This is no time to recount my life story, Leighton. I must take my leave. We'll do that next chapter. Until next time. Ah! He's getting away! He's going back to the Bostonius! Quickly! We cannot let him escape! The archaeologist who called himself Desmond Sycamore was, another, was none other than John Descalet, Professor Leighton's nemesis. Descalet's intentions were once shrouded in mystery, but it appears he was only working alongside us to fulfill his own, go his own goals. Are you gonna- <laughs> what, you two? Are you gonna hurt me too? Come on, we have to go down after him. Who knows what Descalet might do with the power of the Azran? that going back the way we came will take too long. Well, let's check Roanoke's office. Maybe he's a super quick executive lift. Or a giant fireman's pole that goes all the way down. Good thinking, Emmy. 
I'm confident that we'll find something in here to help us. Really, Professor? How is anything in here gonna help us catch Descale? Well, I believe our best bet is to mimic him and launch ourselves from the top of the tower. Huh? We can't jump off a building this tall? <laughs> it is the fastest way down, without a doubt. However, I do not intend to jump, so much as glide gently down. Oh, I get it, Professor. You want to build a sort of hang glider. That's his go-to, isn't it? Precisely. Now, let us look for suitable materials to build one. Mm, dinosaur. Aha, this should do the trick. Given the creature's wingspan, it should easily hold a man's weight. Can we really build a hang glider with this, Professor? What better frame than the skeleton of a, of a pterosaur? A creature built for gliding. Its skeleton perfectly adapted to the task. Now, can you please give me a hand? It feels very sturdy. I think this might actually work. Wahoo! Now then, let's hurry. Nikki, did you just post a fishing link in chat? Professor, are you really going to jump off here? There is no time for second thoughts. Escalade will not linger here in the nest. Be careful, won't you, Professor? Do not worry about me. You three should make your way down the tower and head back to the landing pad. Ah, Professor! Come on, Luke. We need to get going, too. Oh, yes! Here we go. What are you planning? Descolade, this is bigger than us both! You can't stop me! The Azran legacy is all I have to live for! <sighs> what are you talking about? Enough! <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass with both hands! Master! Over here! Before Descalay took the key from Aurora, he also heard what she said, didn't he? In the place of awakening, the gateway stands. The place of awakening. That must mean the ice cave where we found Aurora, right? Yes. Descalay is doubtless on his way to Throneborn now. Yet we have the Bostonius. Professor Sycamore. He, he just fucking left us his ship. Okay, so chapter six and seven will be our our last of this game, and I will do those on Friday night. 7 p.m. EST, as per frickin' usual. Barring any acts of God and or Azran. Is everybody alright? Fine here, Professor. <sighs> and here, too. But I don't know if we can say the same for the Bostonius. Well, we may be thankful that it has kept us safe for one last bumpy landing. At least we're in the right place. If Descalay is looking for the Azran Sanctuary, he's sure to be here somewhere. Agreed. And it's up to us to stop him. Let's go, then. Uh, yeah, we'll see you again in two days.
Okay, sorry, the last time I looked at the camera was genuinely just so I could, like, fix my hair, because it was bothering me. But, that's it for now, guys. I'm going straight to bed. Good night.